Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's me again, and this time I'm here with callable bonds. So what we've got is we've got Wanda's Widgets has sold a callable 20-year semi-annual bond, the coupon rate of 8%. We have the par value of the bond is $5,000, but Wanda and her investors can call the bond beginning at the end of eight years. The yield to call on the bond is 10%, but the bond also requires that if Wanda's Widgets calls the bond, they'll have to pay one additional year of interest on the call, which in a semi-annual bond is two coupon payments. So what we're going to calculate now is the price of the bond based on the assumption that it's going to be called on the first available call date. All right, so these problems take a little um, work ahead of time before you can start to solve them. So um, we're going to collect all of the um, time value of money key information that we need. And so the first thing I need to know is I need to know N. And N is simply the number of payments till the call. With a semi-annual bond, we know that semi-annual means I'm going to get two payments a year. And it is a 20-year bond, but I need the number of payments till the call. Well, they're going to call at the end of eight years, so I know that at the end of eight years, the number of payments we will have received is going to be 16. So N, number of payments till the call, is 16. I'm going to skip the call price for now, and I'm going to go down to the easy one which is just a fill in the blank, which was, is your IY, which is yield to call. Yield to call is always going to be given in your problem. Um, and in this case, we have a yield to call of 10%. We have to calculate two things. We have to calculate what this bond is going to be worth or what the price of it's going to be when they call it at the end of eight years. And we also have to calculate the coupon payment. All right, so I'm going to start with calculating the payment. Right? Payment is the coupon payment, and that's basically saying that if I have a coupon rate of 8%, it's going to be based on the par value of the bond, and I'm going to get the payments semi annually. So, in order to calculate coupon payments, we're always going to take the par value of the bond, in this case $5,000, times the coupon rate, going to divide it by the number of payments that I'm going to get per year. So if this was a monthly um, uh, bond, then instead of two, I would have 12. If it was a quarterly bond, I would have four instead of two. So in this case, I have a $5,000 par value with a coupon rate of 8% split into two payments a year. All right, so what that tells me is that I'm going to take $5,000 times 0.8 divided by 2. What that tells me is that I'm going to get two payments a year on this bond, and they're going to be $200 a piece. So now the question becomes, what is the call price? The call price of a bond is simply going to be the par value plus anything that's an additional payment at call. In this case, they're required to pay one year of additional interest on the call, which is equal to two coupon payments because it was a semi-annual bond. So the call price is simply going to be the par value of $5,000 plus any premium um, that we get for the early call, which is two coupon payments. I know that one coupon payment was $200. They're going to be penalized two coupon payments. That's going to give me an additional $400. So what I know is that when they call this bond at the end of eight years, they're going to have to pay $5,400. So the question becomes, based on 16 payments until call, 
a call price of $5,400 with coupon payments of $200 each and a yield to the call of 10%, I want to know what is the price of that bond today. So, um, now we've got all of our information. What's the best news? The best news, the best news is that, oops, i got to get it to pop up again. The best news is that I can solve this using a BA2 plus calculator. It requires one preliminary step, and that is, is that I need to reset my payments per year. In order to reset payments per year, I'm going to go to second, set, second, payments per year. See where that little P slash Y is in the second? What I, it shows right now is that payments per year is set to one. I need to set it to two. So I'm going to put in 2.0. I'm going to hit enter and then clear. If I go back in my calculator just to double check, I'm going to go to second payments per year and you'll see that it's two payments per year. Just remember when you finish working this problem, go back in and reset it to one. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in all of these figures. So I'm always going to go to second clear time value of money, second clear work, clear. I'm probably going to do it again just because that's the way I am. And now I'm going to begin to plug in the values that I've calculated for my problem into the BA2 plus. N is equal to 16, which is number of payments until the call. IY is yield to call, which is 10%. I'm calculating present value, so I'm going to skip that one. Payment is my coupon payment which we calculated is $200 based on the par value times the coupon rate divided by the number of payments per year. That gave me my payment. And then finally is my future value. Remember, future value is the same thing as the call price, which is simply par value plus any additional interest due at the call. We calculated that to be $5,400. And that's future value. And now I'm going to compute the present value, which is the present value of that bond. Ignore the fact that it's a negative. But what I know is that a 20-year semi-annual bond, coupon rate of 8%, par value of 5000 callable at the end of eight years, with a yield to call of 10%, and a two coupon payment penalty for early withdrawal that the price of the bond today is $4,641.36. So once you finish with this problem, you need to go to second, clear time value money, second, clear, clear work, come back up here to second, set, second, payments per year, go back to one and hit enter and then clear and you'll be ready for your next finance problem. Bye.